Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and More. And today I want to talk to you about a little doll that I purchased a little while ago. Her name is Thumbelina Snoozy or Snoozy Thumbelina. One way or the other means all the same. But anyhow, I bought this little doll. She was in rough shape. So let me show you her pictures first. So here she is here. She's got this nice little knobby on the top of her head. And it's just full of uh, hair all mucked together. And when I got her and I pulled her out and pulled off this little dirty bonnet, I went, oh my goodness, how am I going to get that little knobby down? And you can see that her hair is in really bad, bad shape. It's dry, it's bristly, it's, I don't know, I almost thought about just cutting that thing off the top and just put rerooting her head. But you'll see what I did. So here she is, there's her head. And you can see the hair's just sticking right straight up. And um, she's missing eyelashes. And her eyes, even in the sitting position, her eyes wouldn't open. I had to like almost like hit like the side of her head a little bit to jerk to jerk them up and even then they only half opened and there's her whole body she's very very dirty you can see her face is just filthy and everything so anyways we'll keep moving here to the next picture there's the back her knobby now she does work she's in, in she's in working condition and um she turns very nicely and you can see the dirt on the back of her feet there very very dirty baby now here it is. What I did with her was, I took her and I walked, the first thing you want to do with a doll like this is take her and wash her hair. Regardless of the knobby on her head, you're not going to get down to, into the, the that, that messed up, mucked up rat's nest of hair. You can't, but you got to do the best you can. And sometimes soap will loosen up some of it. It'll, it, it. It will get, penetrates somewhat into it. And so anyways, after I was done, I oiled her, her hair and I was able to slowly tease it down. I just took a little bit, tease, tease, but a lot of this was all stuck together here. Like it wasn't a part yet. Okay, so just to let you know that. And here's, here's a side view of her, even after oiling her hair. You can see how bristly it was. It was just very coarse, coarse hair and very brittle. Some hair did come out, but not very much. I was shocked how little did come out. But there's, there's the side view of her hair. Now here she is. She's got a bonnet on. And I've got her well oiled. The oil is even on her face right now. But it did open her eyes. So I, I cleaned her eyes up at the same time with the oil. And that really helped out. So now we're going to take a look at her. And just what she is now. And there she is. All, all prettied up now. Now she's had a haircut at the front. You can see that. But there's still enough hair to come down. And I did not have to pull her hair out and re-root her or give her a wig. I was very surprised um, that I just kept working on her and working on her. Now what I did do, I'll tell you the steps of what I did to get her hair to look like this. I washed her hair. I baby oiled it. I washed her hair. I used fabric softener. I washed her hair. I oiled her hair. And then I washed her hair. And this is the results that I got. And it's got back right to a nice, pretty, shiny color. And there's her, that's where that knobby was of hair. Came right straight up out of there. But there's where she's sewing together. I thought that was, I did pretty good there at getting her looking, looking at least half decent, you know. And um, her hair is a lot softer, not so brittly. Now it could use one more oiling. I can, I can feel that in her, but it's not bad, bad right now. I think it's very manageable. Um, I can still feel some of the, whoops, the oil in her. Um, but she's marked on the back, ideal. And here's her body here. And you can see I've washed her legs. You can tell the difference because you're going to see in the minute. There's her legs there. And here's the arms that I haven't even touched yet. That's how dirty her legs were. You can see when I squeeze out my rag, there's, there's from the legs how dirty she was. Just from the legs alone right there. And that's just with a drop of um, Dawn dish soap in there. That's all I put in there was just some Dawn, a drop, one drop, and that's it. And away I went with it and just started cleaning her up. And all everything's coming off. All this type of stuff right here, which you think might be a stain, came out. She had that on her foot as well, right down in here in her foot. Her foot area, whoops, get the camera there. And um, all came out beautifully. So now I'm going to clean her arms up, reattach her head, and let's see what she looks like when she's all dressed. I'll come back with an update on her. So hang on, update's coming up. Baby Snoozy Thumbelina Thumbelina Snoozy. 1966, I think she she's marked on the back. Okay, bye-bye.